With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says a ball of mass small m strike the fixed inclined plane after falling through a height h. If it rebounds elastically, we need to calculate the impulse on the ball. So we can see in the diagram the ball is moving towards the inclined plane, let's say with some velocity v. Alright, so it is moving downward with velocity v. So we can say uh, by kinematical equation that is v square equals to u square plus 2as, we can say the value of this v can be calculated as under root 2g h. Alright, since initial velocity has been taken 0 and uh, acceleration due to gravity is g over here so the formula we are getting of velocity is this now we know when the ball strikes the uh, smooth wedge over here so uh, let's try to draw its uh, line of impact that is along this line we can say uh, this velocity can be resolved into our two components along this line of impact this line is uh, nothing but it is line of impact let's say it as n and dash all right so we can resolve the velocity component along this line so we can say one component of velocity will be in this direction having value as if this angle we can say uh, let's make it over here after first it will strike the wedge over here and it will rebound back all right so we can say this angle is our theta all right so if this angle is theta so this angle is also theta over here and we can write the component will be nothing but it can be written as v cos theta and a perpendicular or parallel to which a component will be v sin theta all right this we have already uh, covered in the mechanics part a resolution of forces or vel velocities we can say so we can uh, see the velocity with which the ball is uh, approaching the wedge is with v cos theta that is along line of impact force uh, velocities is been considered in the case of collisions all right and the collision is been given to be as elastic so we can say for elastic collision coefficient of restitution is one and we know by definition coefficient of restitution is nothing but velocity of separation dividing by velocity of approach all right so we can see the velocity with which it is approaching is v cos theta that is along line of impact so we can say e is equals to velocity of separation let's suppose it has to be a v dash so what uh, velocity we are getting is a uh, velocity of approach will be v cos theta over here therefore from here we can say v dash we are getting is uh, v cos theta alright so this with this velocity it will get separated alright and we know for an elastic collision the angle again will be the same that is at the same angle it will uh, rebound back alright so we can say that the velocity of separation along the line of impact that is we can draw it over here so uh, this component we are talking about of the velocity so we can make it more clearly so this component will be again v cos theta all right and here it is v sin theta all right so there will be no change along the uh, parallel or the uh, velocity component which is parallel to the wedge all right and uh, we can say the perpendicular component will also be the same because of el elastic collision that has been given so if we consider uh, axis over here as y axis and here we can say along the plane it is x axis so we can see uh, the direction of velocities along line of impact we can see both are in the opposite direction so now uh, we can proceed further and we are interested in finding the value of impulse so we can say impulse which is denoted by letter j is nothing but it is given by the formula f into dt and if we carefully analyze f into dt is nothing but it is the change in momentum so change in momentum that means 
uh, we can say final momentum minus initial momentum that will give us the value of impulse and final momentum we can say upward direction as positive and downward direction as negative so we can say uh, it can be written as momentum actually is nothing but uh, it is a product of mass into velocities so final moment uh, final momentum can be written as mv cos theta all right minus an initial momentum uh, we can take it as again mv cos theta it is a product of mass and velocity that is along the line of impact we have to be careful impulse is also calculated along the line on the line of impact so we can say this can be written as 2 mv cos theta and we have calculated the value of v as under root 2 gh from 1 we can say from 1 so from here we can say uh, the value of impulse that the ball will experience is given by the formula 2m cos theta under root 2 gh and this matches with option a so i hope you have understood the concept clearly and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today